the interesting thing for me about the, the debate about same-sex marriage, um, quite aside from the film of Carol, is that it's one of those issues where it has no impact on anyone apart from the people that it impacts upon. <laughs> so I, I find it quite bewildering that it's, um, that it's so complicated for, for, for people. The internet almost blew up this year when um, you gave an interview about this film and you'd said that you'd had... Wouldn't it be nice if the internet blew up? <laughs> would we would all have a long holiday. We'd be able to think really long-range, <laughs> deep thoughts that are not sort of based on gossip. Well, it's sped well, life up, hasn't it, really? I know. I just the, the emoji still doesn't really... Um, speak to the complexity that actually, get, or, or the subtext that goes on between when no. people actually speak face to face. There's no room for nuance. No, there's no room for nuance, but, but also it used to be, I mean, I'm old enough to remember, you're probably not, but I'm old enough to remember <laughs> the, the days when, when, when you spoke to one, one person from one outlet and that was the conversation. But now what happens is you speak to people and what you say gets translated you know, in, into Portuguese, then, then into, into Mandarin, through a German prism and then back into English and bears little to no resemblance between, you know, to the, the exchange or that you initially had with the journalist or to, to what you um, originally said. And the internet blew up because Did it blow up? nearly apparently um, you'd said that you'd been in a female female relationships and that was interpreted as a same-sex relationship. Heaven which... forfend! <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel about that? Um, I just thought it was really silly. I mean, I was asked by a journalist speaking to what we were saying earlier is that you know I couldn't possibly have played. Um, someone with feelings towards a woman unless I'd had those feelings myself. It's, no one asked me when I played Mary Mapes, a journalist, how many years I'd you know, actually worked for you know, any newspaper had I gone to journalism school. No one asks you those questions. Um, but yet when you play someone who's, um, whose sexual persuasion you know, is front and centre, you have to have lived and breathed that. So I think I was just pointing to the ridiculousness of the question, which the, he, the journalist actually got the irony, but then obviously the internet doesn't. It, you know, it really is of no relevance what my, um, you know, sexual persuasion is. 